on the previous episode. Like, they're not super hard. You see the inventory. We have a ton of 89s and 90s and 91s. And man, I just wait basically for them to kind of go up in price and be above their average price. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Episode 54 of the No Money Spent. Sunday is sell day. Watch an NFL day, but I don't want to disappoint anybody. I did not play Weekend League this week, and you're going to see I've not played any games. I might play some later tonight, but the reason for this really being is supposedly this week's wins count towards the last monthly's like win total, and I already have 60 wins for Legends, so I don't have a pressure to like play and get extra wins. So this week is basically a week off, and we'll start next week a fresh month. Maybe go for top 100 monthly. I don't know, man. Playing games games it's it's just sometimes like the first 15 games for me weekly are really fun really competitive but the last 10 are just a like, time crunch and really stressful but let's hop into the market just like a market vibe a market what where the market's at basically sunday night the market has gone up looking at the 92 cards in terms of the gridiron guardian reroll set for heavyweights and training the 92s are a little down at about 330 for ramsey 300 for rogers or mccaffrey and then the 90 gridirons are going for about 140 still so i'd stay away for now i think we're going to get part two this next week so it's still maybe that's a set to look for to next weekend in terms of 90 overalls the market has kind of stayed the same for 90s and 91s you can still get them for like 130 they're still going for 135 which they were yesterday and you get snipes for like 125 120 91s going for like 180 you could try to get for under 170 which is really good training but in terms of like i'm trying to basically sell off my binder on sunday or monday so i'm not really sniping as much anymore i'm really only doing legend sets in terms of the 88 89 market that market especially the 89s man the 89s have risen you're gonna see almost every single 89 except for a couple of rising stars and maybe a couple heavyweights i mean they're basically above 90k if you were buying at 75k yesterday and yesterday night man you are making a killing if you've kind of held their price which i kind of have i mean i don't want to i don't really know exactly where my coin total is at we'll go into that in detail in tomorrow's video this is more just a market update 87 overall team of the weeks if you bought like we said in our market monday videos we go over our investments day by day we bought for 44k they're at about 57 we got rid of them at 63k on thursday which that was a great move a great decision in terms of selling and looking at the heavyweight market you can see right across your screen man the heavyweight market actually going to be a live kind of reaction to this the heavyweight market at the time that i was recording this was basically at halftime of the Sunday football game pats bucks the heavyweight market was going insane so you're actually gonna see me i'm gonna go discard two reggie bushes because he's going for about 180 i bought for 170 i'm trying to sell him for 200 but there's so many like in between that 200 mark so he won't probably go up in terms of today or tomorrow so i'm just gonna i'm gonna quick sell him remember we bought these for 170 or under we're pulling these heavyweight packs for about 80k or less and then we also list a uh michael pierce because you can see i I mean, we bought these for 75k you saw the lowest was 110 he's actually going to sell in the next two minutes but you're going to see him going to rip a couple of heavyweights this is what you do this is why we've been investing in training technically because we just got we hold the training the cards go up that we have sitting in our binder we sell if we see heavyweights go up we have that option to quick sell because we've bought for low training and we can rip the heavyweights and the heavyweights will sell for a lot so you see you pull conklin which we list for 109 that sells we this is actually a really good batch of four you'll see we pull conklin pull taylor moan who's going for about 140 and then we pulled Ryan Kelly, which goes for 150. I mean, we pulled these at 80, 80k each. So we pulled four, so about 300, 320k spent. Moen's 140, Kelly's 150. We do pull Brandon Williams, which is 75, and then Conklin's 110. So we we easily went over. We probably made probably eh, 70, 80k after tax in terms of how much we spent into those heavyweight packs. But you're gonna see in terms of what is in my binder. I buy a Kareem Jackson for 399k. I bought this today. An investment sort of the sell to keep. I don't know. He's He's up for 507 you saw that was the cheapest card and he's actually gonna sell literally two minutes while i'm making this video it's insane i'll show you my bids but in terms of what's in my binder have about eight legends left three aj bouillets the legends have not really gone up as much as i thought the heavyweights man you see the heavyweights rise i have a couple moans a couple kelly's a bunch of pierces trying to get rid and i recommend you guys get rid of everything your heavyweight investments your legendary investments before monday night because as we know tuesday is when the market hits that crash again i don't really know why this year because like the team of the week cards aren't really that great but the 87 team of the week market basically crashes you see we still have some rising stars we have a team diamond left but in terms of what we've bought these cards for you see reggie bush for under 170 of course there's all the hands because we have still been kind of we slowed down on hands more jerry rice sets we're going to see there's the kareem jackson we bought for 399 you see kelly's we bought at 120 
basically it's we don't really buy the card we buy the number so 89 is under 75 you see a norwell 90s for under 125 mostly for under 120 and the 91s for under 170 there's an exception here roy williams 180 because i know i could sell roy williams based on much gg i looked them up goes for around 230 at the peak which is what i want to sell in terms of what we sold cards for you see Bouye, which we bought under 120 sold for 150 there's our conklins you see the, the leonard davis from yesterday which we bought for 170 selling for 200 you see all the hanes that we've basically been creating for 240k they've all sold for 300k or more the jerry rice is gonna be the legend set we're gonna go into detail today you see a ted hendricks i actually did a ted hendricks set last night for about 411k of course i had the 85 from the solos but unfortunately he went down a little bit so i only made like 20k off him you see kelly's 159 there's the kareem jackson 507k that was a 50k profit i mean i did nothing but buy kareem jackson and then list him for 12 hours at 507 a price i was comfortable with selling him curtis martin we sold for 203 which we bought you saw for 170 there's the michael pierce you'll see he sold that the one that i listed for 104 sold there's a couple rams you just had revis which which we bought for 75k on saturday sold for 100 each and then the jerry rice is what i've been spamming basically he's the michael haynes of saturday and you see the rest of the certains 150 man be patient with these cards selling this is why i say buy friday buy saturday and the market's low in terms of if you have coins you have the basically uh i don't want to say like coin depth the, I don't really know what to say, basically, to keep the cards in your binder. You don't need the coins right now. But looking at a Jerry Rice set, we are still doing it. I had four in the set. I wanted to pick up the 86 for under 35K, in which I do. And uh, really, this was a great timing in a video. You're actually going to watch. I bought that 89 for 100. I think it was 59K was the last one I bought one for. And you're actually going to watch me just straight buy the rest of the four. You see, I get the 87 for 50K, which is a price I've been willing to pay all weekend. The 86 for 33 or 34. Four. I bought the last one for 33. I was trying to get him for under 35. I'm okay with that. You're gonna watch. I actually buy the 85 for 21.1. That's about a four or five k snipe on average that I buy him for. And then we pick up the 84. I think for 19 or 20,000. I'm actually gonna put the stats on the screen of what you should be buying for average. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I upload these videos at night, like Saturday night, Sunday night. I'm on the West Coast. I really wish I can give you this information, like before the day happens. The only way I can really give you this information is you gotta watch my Mo Market Monday videos. I tell you in advance because I'm basically telling you this after I do it. So you guys can't really like, you're not gonna be able to do these legend sets Monday, Tuesday. They're not gonna be the cards aren't gonna be popping up on the market. But you see, 155, 50, 33, 25, and 20 are the averages I pay for, which is a 283k on average. We bought Jerry Rice, and you will see in my binder when I go to list him he sells on average for about 370,000 I have pulled sold multiple for 370 the lowest I've sold him is like 355 but that's 50k profit I mean you basically just watch me make 50k in two minutes in terms of buying deal all it took now I will say it's not like not, everyone can't do this because I have the coin balance I've I always make sure going into a promo I've told my friends this have like i would say 300k i know 300k is a lot but it's just really important to have you have to have coins to make coins especially going into promo days and we didn't really know content was dropping on friday but you've got to be aware basically every friday there's a chance for a market crash and a promo drop and i would keep 300k like i know your guys' teams are worth a lot but always keep i mean at worst keep 100k just so you're able to like start a process of making coins over the weekend it's the easiest time to make coins i grind the most on friday and saturday sunday monday I basically through the week i just chill but friday and saturday are the main days to make coins but that's going to be all for this episode I, w I promise I will have gameplay tomorrow's in tomorrow's episode. Watch my Market Monday video in terms of you want a day-by-day -day investment. In terms of we're going over Team of the Weeks, uh, basically predictions for Friday, what we're going to do on Friday, Saturday. Basically, every day of the week, I go over what I'm investing in so you guys can make coins like me pretty much. I want, I'm, I'm for the people. I want you guys to all make as many coins or more than me. But that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoy the content, subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions, of course. And until next time, peace.